I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa factoring general trinomial. Ginagamit itong factoring method na ito kapag ang given nating trinomial ay hindi perfect square trinomial. Magsimula tayo sa pagmumultiply ng binomials using FOIL method. Halimbawa, multiply x plus 3 and x plus 2. So we have the first terms, x times x. You have the outer terms, x times 2. You have the inner terms, 3 times x. And you have the last terms, 3 times 2 equals x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. And we just combine like terms. 2x plus 3x is 5x. Therefore, our answer is x squared plus 5x plus 6. That will be the product when we multiply the given binomials. We can also multiply the given binomials using algebra tiles. So kung kayo ay familiar dito sa algebra tiles, gumagamit tayo ng tiles to represent the given value. Halimbawa, yung nasa taas, x plus 3. At yung nasa gilid, x plus 2. We just multiply it. Kailangan ang mabubuo nating shape ay rectangle. And then we just count. You have x squared, then you have 5x, and you have 6 na 1. So that is using algebra tiles. How can we factor trinomials such as x squared plus 7x plus 12 back into binomials? So the factors of the given trinomial are binomials. One method is to again use the algebra tiles. So we will be using tiles to represent the given trinomial. So we will be starting with x squared. And then after that, so let us wait for the complete representation while the tiles is being replaced. Add 7x tiles because we have 7x and 12 1 tiles. Rearrange the tiles until they form a rectangle. So, kailangan natin ibahin yung x tiles so the 1 tiles will fill in a rectangle. So, kapag kayo ay bumuo at hindi kayo nakabuo ng rectangle, pwede nyong rearrange yung x at yung 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo doong space. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin siya rectangle. So, anong gagawin natin? Aayusin natin ulit yung algebra tiles para makabuo tayo ng rectangle. Katulad nan, isa na siyang rectangle. Top factor, you have x and then you have 4x. So that's why it is x plus 4. Samantalang yung nasa gilid naman, yung side factor natin ay x and then you have 3x, so that's why it is x plus 3. So that will give you x plus 4 and x plus 3. That will be the factors of x squared plus 7, x plus 12 using the algebra tiles. The other method to get the factors is by solving. Instead, we'll look for the pattern of products and sums because using algebra tiles takes too much of our time. So if the x squared term has no coefficient other than 1, x squared plus 7x plus 12. Step 1, list all pairs of numbers that multiply to equal the constant 12. So what are the factors of 12? So 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. 
So those are factors of 12. We just list all the pairs. When you say factors, two numbers, when you multiply, the answer would be the product. And we are looking for the factors of 12. Then after that, choose the pair that adds up to the middle coefficient. Since our middle term is 7x, which of these factors, when you add, adds up, the sum would be 7. That is 3 and 4, correct? Fill those numbers into the blanks in the binomial. So therefore, the factors is x plus 3 and x plus 4. As easy as that. Did you get it? Okay, so therefore, that will be our factors. Let's have another example. This time, the constant is negative. As what you have seen, the last term is negative 24. Again, step 1, kailangan natin ulit ilista yung mga pares ng factors ng negative 24. Take note, since the last term is negative, kailangan yung isang factor ay positive, yung isa naman ay negative. That's, that is, 1 and negative 24, yung kabaliktaran niya, negative 1 and 24. 2 and negative 12, negative 2 and 12. 3 and negative 8, negative 3 and 8. 4 and negative 6, negative 4 and 6. Again, take note, kapag ang last term ay negative, one factor is positive, the other one is negative. Ano naman pair ang mag adds up to 2 since the middle term is 2x? Alin dito sa mga factors na to? What do you think? Okay, that's it. Negative 4 and positive 6 because 6 minus 4 is positive 2. And then you just write the binomial factors. That is x minus 4 and x plus 6. So that's our lesson for today. I hope that you learn. So try this activity. So you need to factor each trinomial completely. So you have 5 items to answer. You can uh, pause the video to copy all the problems. And then, at the end of this video, so I will be revealing the answer. So, therefore, uh, that is our answers from items 1 to 5. Check your own work. I hope that you get it all correctly. Very good. That's it. Thank you for listening. Uh, you can email me your presentation and I give credits to your work at oliver.ortiz2424 at gmail.com. Any topics for grade 8. Grade eight okay?